A founder's first set of supporters can be critical to the early success of a startup. Um, access to a wider audience gives founders a greater chance of meeting the people that they need to gain traction, whether it's potential users, advisors, or funders. These elevator interviews are with founders that I've, I've, I've had the privilege to meet with and is meant to give them broader exposure in a very quick way. Um, hi, Suniki Wei, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm so glad you're here with us today. Um, I'd like to kind of just jump right into this with your 90 second soundbite. And afterwards, Emma, uh, through her lens as an emerging innovator and former student of mine, um, she and I will be asking just a couple of clarifying questions. So whenever you're ready, Emma's gonna um, set the timer and we'll just jump in. Sounds great. Um, so I am Sneaky Way Dilawayo, and I'm the founder of a company called Naya. Naya was started in 2018 as a means of um, connecting the disconnect in the wellness space. As a Black woman, I was often showing up into spaces where I was one of the only um, or one of the very few. And it became really frustrating, especially given that yoga and meditation are practices that stem from cultures um, that aren't mostly white cultures. And so since then, um, really built up this beautiful community and wanting to create a product for the community. Um, so I am currently in the process of building Alanga, which is an app and a platform um, which centers movement um, specifically by highlighting teachers of color um, and also looking at what it means to be visually and hearing impaired um, and also wanting to move your body. If you look at things like Peloton, they're still predicated on, you know, the fact that your body is mostly able to either get on a bike or get on the ground to practice yoga. And so it's really important to me to open it up regardless of your body's capabilities, you should be able to move um, and you should be able to find joy in that movement. And so I am currently raising $250,000 and at present I have raised $50,000 via angel investment. Perfect. Great. Oh, wow. Perfectly yeah, on right on time. <laughs> um, yeah, so, go ahead. Um, Emma. Just talk about the uh, stakeholders of your venture. Um, who is this targeted for in terms of uh, using it? Would it be, you know, somebody wanting to learn yoga and meditation all that? Would it be teachers? Would it be different programs? Yeah. So the target audience, um, it's definitely, I would say, beginner to like novice um, mm -hmm. is the target. I'm targeting um, people of color between the ages of um, 25 to like 35 um, is the target audience. Um, and that's currently the community that I've built as well. Yeah. So my, my um, I, I heard you mention um, visually impaired and hearing impaired. Um, so my, uh, I think you may recall from a prior conversation we had that my daughter's visually impaired She's too young to be in your, your target market, but um, what inspired that piece along with um, it for your solution when you were, you know, creating it? Yeah, so I, um, when I started teaching yoga, I was teaching at a school um, where most of the students fell under the poverty line. Um, and within that, learning to practice yoga, oftentimes it wasn't so much about the physicality of yoga. It was just getting them to, you know, be aware of their breathing and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and a lot of those students had um, visual and uh, physical disabilities. And so I had to, subsequently modify like how I would teach in a studio uh -huh. for their access needs. Um, and so that has always been in the back of my mind when I'm teaching, um, you know, whether it's giving cues and things like that um, for folks to modify as needed. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Um, and just a final question. Um, if you could, would you talk a little bit about your ask? Uh, would that be fundraising or getting the word out? I know you mentioned that sure, you are yeah. fundraising, but if you can kind of recap that piece um, and then if there is um, another company ask with that, um, that would be great. Yes, so I'm um, presently fundraising and so looking to connect with folks um, either in the space or 
adjacent to the space um, who are currently writing checks. Um, I know given the market, I've met with a lot of folks who are really writing checks right now. Um, and so in order to kind of grow my team um, and build this product, definitely need some funding support. Right, and, and how much again are you raising? Yeah, so I've raised um, out of $250,000, I've raised $50,000 via angel investment. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so uh, as we know, investors have uh, many areas of specific investment interests, um, as well as levels of risk tolerance, um, as, and, and, and a you know, very robust network. So for those of you watching, if you or someone you know uh, can potentially support Naya, uh, please look for details in the description or for this video. So um, thank you, Sinikiwe, for, for joining us today. Thank you.